It feels just as luxur lux <sighs> To me, they feel just as luxur- So, let's go ahead and talk about the products. The first thing I want to talk about is a product that is my monthly faves this video. That doesn't even make logical sense. That was not- Why is my ear itch? Who's talking about me? Hey guys and dolls, so Milani recently came out with their spring 2014 collection and I'm very excited about it. You guys know Milani is one of my all time favorite brands, never mind the fact that they're absolutely my favorite drugstore brand. I just think that their, their range is so 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 good and they have so few flops. They came out with like a ton of new lip products, like this is an insane launch for lip products. If you love lip products, hello dolly because it's time to get crazy with Milani. I did the other night, I swatched all of these lip products for you and my lips are raw from it. It was a very bad decision. I was sitting, like, as I was doing it, my best friend was sitting in my bed and she's like watching me do this. And like, I was just like crying because my lips are hurting towards the end of it. She's like, why are you doing that to yourself? And I was like, I have to swatch them for my subscribers. The first product from this launch that I want to talk about, I just talked about in my monthly faves video and it is the Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color. So this uh, is like a little, you know, tube. Um, Duh. So in this range you get four different colors. The first one is the red one called Red Extreme. It's a super super intensely bright red. Kind of on the bluer end but not too too blue red. There's one called Pink Rave which I was wearing in my outfit of the day a couple of weeks ago. Love this color. Super bright fuchsia. Just ugh, ugh. I'm making really weird things happen with my mouth. Sorry guys. Next one is Fiery Coral which is a gorgeous warm like bright bubblegum Barbie pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love 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 this one. And the last one is Violet Addict. It's really really beautiful kind of on the lighter end of like a purpley lipstick. It's sort of like um like max heroin lipstick. Like it, like if that were like not as intense actually. <laughs> kind of that same tone but much lighter and a little more creamy purple. So the texture of these when they dry down is sort of like a soft matte satin kind of texture. As you're putting them on, like the first time I put them on I found them like a little tricky to work with. Just I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was expecting. Actually I know what I was expecting. When I first pulled out I was like oh it's lip gloss. So I was just like nah, 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 and I'm like oh that's not lip gloss. So you do want to be a little careful and like paint the cake carefully so that you end up with like a nice clean like lip line and everything. The scent on these is kind of like a Swedish like cupcake kind of. Oh, oh, it's so good. It smells so good. Love this product. I do also want to mention that it's almost an identical product to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. So if you like this, you'll like this or love it or whatever. Really intense colors. I actually think that the Milani product is more pigmented. I have quite a few of the NYX ones. And while I love the NYX ones, I feel like the bright pink one and stuff isn't quite living up to my ideal of what it should be. Whereas this one was like, oh my god, I love it so much. New favorite. Next new launch that they have are these new lip stains called uh, Power Lip Lasting and Moisturizing Gloss Stain. So these, I, I uh, have mixed feelings. So some of the shades I freaking love, I just have to say, I'm like, oh my god. So for instance, I'm like super on one about Mango Tango, super bright coral, love, love, love. I really love Pink Lemonade, so pretty. And the thing is, some of the shades, they go on like a stain. So they give like very little texture to the lips. They just kind of stain your lips with a nice, you know, pink or whatever color it is you're using and they look great. However, I think that the deep shades, the red one and the uh, Cabaret blend, I'm, I'm not feeling these ones. These ones were kind of patchy on my lips unless I applied a lot of product. And when I applied a lot of product, it kind of felt like it was gonna like get out of hand or something, I, I don't know. It was just very kind of difficult to control in the darker shades. However, I will say these other lighter shades that I have, it works fantastic and I highly recommend. Raspberry Tart is also really lovely and I was surprised to really like the uh, Creamy Cafe, really gorgeous. Love the scent on these. I want to say I remember it as being kind of like a natural minty, like a crafty mint. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I can't smell it right now. I think I sprayed too much of my perfume earlier when I was making my uh, favorites video that I really can't smell things. Um, and I think it, they have a very light scent to begin with. 
The next lip product I want to talk about are the expansion of their Color Statement lipsticks. As you guys know, I love these. I did a review of them last year. I think they're freaking excellent. The textures are phenomenal. This is absolutely hands down, in my opinion, the best lipstick you can get at the drugstore. To me, they feel just as luxurious as like my MAC lipsticks or any of my other high-end lipsticks. Uh, I would say maybe like the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks kind of tip the scale of being a bit nicer than these. However, we're talking about like a $5.99 price point here. I mean like, it doesn't get better than that. So this new expansion is really good. I actually did a full review for these on my blog. I will go ahead and link you to that so you can you know read a little bit more about each color. I will say that my favorites from this are Cabaret Blend. I absolutely just think this is so pretty. It's kind of similar to Black Cherry, which was from the original launch of them. It's had to smell it. They have like a watermelon, like a sweet watermelon kind of smell. Uh, what was I saying? Cabaret Blend I really like because it's a little redder than Black Cherry and it's just more flattering for me personally. And then my favorites, um, the other two favorites are Rose Femme, which is sort of like a natural uh, like brown pink kind of nice. If you're a fan of Max Twig lipstick, you'll really like this one. And Pretty Natural, which is what I'm wearing today. And oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Pretty, pretty. They also launched a new line of lipsticks. There's 14 colors in all, so it's a really extensive shade range. Pretty excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. So the thing I really love about these, let's go ahead and do the sniff test. <laughs> Smells like baked goods. You gotta love that. This shade range is awesome. It ha they have everything from like nudes, they have a couple of shimmery colors. Most of them are kind of like a juicy or a creamy kind of look to them. They have pinks, there's a couple of different corals. So there's the sweet grapefruit, which is a little bit more of like the pink, you know, punchy coral type color. And then there's coral crush, which is a little more on the orange side. Now you'll see one thing like these hold fingerprints pretty bad. I don't know, of course, now that I want to show it, it won't show, but the packaging does hold fingerprints. Yeah, yeah, whatever, too bad for that. Uh, this shade range in this is awesome. Like I said, you have everything from this nude one. There's a purple one. The purple one's kind of on the sheerer side, so it's not one that I would recommend picking up. Um, they have this really pretty one, Luminous, which is sort of glittery. It reminds me a lot of Max Posh It Up. And Milani had one called Summer Baby that's very similar. I have like a million like pinky gold glosses because I just love them and think they look fantastic. You get the point, they're really awesome, the shade range. Now the texture of these is important to mention. The texture is like a very thick, kind of syrupy, uh, sticky lip gloss. Let's just, yeah. Um, so if you don't like sticky lip gloss, you are not gonna like these because that's what they are. However, here's my feelings about sticky lip gloss. I used to hate it. I thought it was like the worst thing known to man. Then when I worked at MAC and I would have to wear lip gloss all day, I kind of got the idea of like the, the point of it is that the sticky lip gloss stays on longer than non-sticky lip gloss. Aha! So if you want a lip gloss that's going to last a couple hours, this would be a really good option because, you know, they're sticky enough to stick around. But if you just just the thought of putting sticky lip gloss on just really freaks you out. You're not gonna like these. I also will say these aren't the stickiest of the stuff. I feel like I'm saying sticky too much and it's starting to sound like a nonsense word. It's not the stickiest lip gloss I've used in my life. It is a form of a sticky lip gloss. It's nice and thick and syrupy. These are the things that actually made my lips like the most in pain because putting on 14 sticky lip glosses in one sitting is just too much and nobody should ever do that. And I hope I never have to again. I need like lip gloss therapy now. The last thing they're coming out with this launch is the anti-feathering lip liner. And I really love this stuff, you guys. Love it. It totally helps with feathering. It's a clear lip liner, but it's really inexpensive. And I don't I don't know of any other like easily accessible mass market brands that have a clear lip liner. So this is pretty exciting stuff. I've also used this all over my lips before I put on lipstick as a primer and it works wonderfully. So I love this. It's super inexpensive. I'm just, I'm so excited about this launch. It's super good products. All the lip products are super awesome. I have to clear out some room in my drawers because these bad boys are here to stay. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I always appreciate hearing comments from you or hearing them, reading them. Whatever, you know what I mean. So yeah, um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself. See you, bye. Don't let it go away. The feeling has got to stay. Don't let it go away. The feeling has got to stay.